These gloves are Revit Sand 4. These gloves are Revit Sand 4. <laughs> same, same, but different. Let's talk about them. Good evening YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today is another one of my little um, review videos. So let's talk about gloves tonight. I don't really like heavy winter gloves. Um, and that's to my own detriment. You know, it's a bit silly because my hands get extremely cold in the winter. I'll probably end up putting heated grips in these uh, in this Himalayan, but that can bring its own problems with sweaty palms and all that as well. Uh, but I prefer to have that sort of tactile feel through the grips uh, and through the, the levers and stuff like that. Right folks, so both of these gloves are a summer glove. Yeah, this one here is a true summer glove. This one is the H2O version, which is waterproof. It's more sort of spring, summer, potentially three seasons. And the gloves, of course, because they're Revit, they're CE approved. Yeah, so they're extremely safe. One of the first things you notice about them is a the little pull tab, which I find extremely useful, especially when you're trying to pull on that second glove. And this lighter coloured one's got a single Velcro closure. It's got a little protector on here as well. One of the first things you notice about the glove is I've got this TPU knuckle protector running down the fingers and it's honeycombed because the glove is uh, mesh at the back. Yeah, Because it's a summer glove, it's to allow maximum amount of airflow. Now, the glove is constructed of goat skin. It's extremely light and it's extremely tactile on the controls. I really like them for that. Now, they're vented, of course, to allow maximum airflow and they've got some extra protection on there. You can also use the fingertips, you know, for your mobile phone, your iPad or whatever. But you can see with this one, this is sort of about eight months wear now. They're starting to discolour a little bit, which, which you would expect, especially with a lighter colour leather like this. Now, apart from the TPU protector on the back, uh, it's also got a slider on the side here now. It feels a little bit rubberized to me. I mean, it's comfortable. It's extremely comfortable. I don't know how that would hold up in a slide, but of course I'm not a, a glove manufacturer. <laughs> uh, they've also got little um, sliders on the finger here, you know, so you don't catch the old pinky, you know, when you're sliding along the ground. It's got a scaphoid protector as well, yeah. So what I really like about this glove, I like how light it is. This is my go-to glove. See if it's not raining. I like to get this glove on. So I guess you would say some of the style features on this glove are a bit similar, but they're similar but different, you know. This is a waterproof glove and it's made of um, cow hide. Uh, it's cow, le cow leather rather than, than goat hide, so it's a bit heavier. It's padded, there's a little bit more insulation in there. I don't know how much that's got to do with the Hydrotex liner that's in there, it's actually sewn into the glove. It's a good thing because some motorbike gloves you take them off and the liner comes out with your hand which is really quite annoying. Now a major difference in this if you look at the back here the TPU is completely different and it's not a mesh glove yeah you've got a hard uh, slider on here knuckle protector and it's got an insert in there that's got memory foam sort of stuff and instead of having it all the way down the finger you get separate sliders on these fingers some of the knuckles as well. So with both of these gloves, of course, you get additional leather. It's all double stitched and treble stitched and all that in the more vulnerable areas of the palms. Now, of course, it's also got a little pull tab, but with this one, it's got a double Velcro closure. Most Revit gloves have actually got this little patch on the side here. And this is, you know, designed for cleaning the old visor and stuff, you know? You see this area here? That's sort of designed for cleaning and, and wiping your visor and stuff on the go, get that water off of it. These get used more often than not these days, either because of the cold or the rain. But they keep that out for yeah, quite a considerable period of time. They're really good gloves for that. They're not quite four season. Uh, I might try them out in four seasons. I've got heavier gloves. But see for me, see winter gloves, they get cold eventually. Depends on how far and how, how technical I'm riding. So these are an honourable mention, I suppose. These are Komini, or Komine, I don't know how you pronounce them, but a Japanese brand. Now, they're extremely light, they're extremely light glove, and they're a 3D mesh, yeah? Now, I do not wear these on the roads in the UK, <laughs> okay? You can get away with this type of thing in a light trail, 
Yeah, hot, dusty, light, sandy trail, maybe in the desert. Um, I wear these when I go abroad. Yeah, see if I'm riding a little scooter around Thailand or Indonesia or whatever, that's the type of thing I want to wear. Extremely hot weather, I'm not going particularly fast. Most of the roads are sand anyway. So are they better than nothing? Absolutely. Would I want to hit the deck at 70 miles an hour wearing them on a main road? <laughs> Definitely not, because the glove will just get shredded. But this little thing, that's a handy little thing to keep maybe in your top box or your case or whatever. At a pinch, at a push, if you get your gloves or something like that. They're better than nothing, yeah. Got a little slider on there. Uh, they've got a little bit of protection, not much. Uh, but they're extremely cold, <laughs> so hot weather only. Uh, we're getting to the end of season for these types of gloves, so it's going to be thicker gloves soon, or if you don't like thicker gloves, then maybe, depending on the weather, might be your heated grips or stuff like that, you know, it depends on how how you want to go with that. problem we've got with heated uh, grips and this type of glove is you can, you can often get a bit of sweat in there, you know, your hands start to sweat, so you get wet anyway. But they're going to sweat and be hot, so <laughs> that's maybe the way to go.